All right, guys, so I'm here with Big Bam, Tai Tuivasa, my boy, my brother. Uh, what's up, baby? We out in Houston now, huh? Houston, what's up? <laughs> I mean, just a young man from Australia that made it worldwide now. We made it, we made it. Tai Tuivasa of Abu Dhabi fame. I mean, uh, Dubai fame, right? <laughs> like, what is it, Abu Dhabi, Dubai? I mean, you got that nice penthouse apartment. I, I, I don't even recognize you. Not The house you lived in San Jose don't look like how you living in Abu Dhabi, though. What's up? We cracked it. We cracked you made it? Shake money, man. You done made it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you sponsored. You know what I'm saying? You big money guy, though. Not really. My man. Ty, you know, I was asking you right before we started talking about what's next and how life is changing. You said you finally get to go home after uh, this fight. Well, after you go to Mexico, have a little couple days, and you go home back to Australia for the first time because the pandemic has killed it. Yeah. Started the pandemic, we were together. You were a dude searching for answers. Yeah. Isn't that crazy how far you've come in such a short period of time? Because people don't rec realize and recognize this before the Step is True fight, you had came out to San Jose, we were training together in my garage, we get news that the world shut down. You kicked us out. I didn't kick you, you out. You kicked my ass first and then I didn't kicked me I didn't out. kick you out. We went to the grocery store and you bought more corned beef than any human being I've ever seen in my entire life. And the shit don't really taste that good. Corned beef? That shit is terrible. Bro, that's Samoan breakfast. That's, we hate that for breakfast. That shit is terrible. Nah, it's It the tastes best. funny. Corned beef? Corned beef tastes funny. Come on, man. You're going to get a lot of Samoans upset. Well, can, well can, I have, can we have corn? Can I get corned beef with you? And are you make? Good corned beef, where I know what it's supposed to taste corn like. Corned beef, because the version spaghetti. I've had is not good. Corned beef, spaghetti. Corned beef, onion. spaghetti. It's the shit. Really? Yeah, it's <laughs> the best. Fast forward almost two years now, and you've now won four in a row. You're ranked in the top fifteen in the world, and you're fighting the number three dude in the world. Mm -hmm. How hard would it have been for Ty Tuivasa back in that garage to imagine? that you would be right here, right now, today? I knew it was always in my head. It was more just I had to put the work in and, and, and get it done. But definitely still amazes me. Yeah. yeah. Always amazes me. Because in those conversations we had away from the cameras, you would say stuff like, D, I'm just kind of learning this as I go. I still am. Still am. But you're much more polished. Yeah, yeah I'm getting better. Right? Like, you're so much more polished. So to be 3-3 three and three in the UFC at the time and still be learning and fighting a level of... You had been in there with JDS, mm. right? To, been, mm. to have been in there in six fights, not really knowing what you're doing, you must feel like Superman going in there today now, knowing that you possess the skills that you have. Yeah, I feel a lot more confident and comfortable now, for sure. I was think I was just rushing a bit back then. Well, like I said, I was learning on the job. Yeah. And... Uh, suppose it's the best way, but not in front of the world, you know what I mean? When you lose, it's, it's a bit of a shit feeling. So when you're stripped, but, but because you're learning on the job and you're almost stripped down to your bare parts in front of everybody, you got to take do some real soul searching, mm, right? Sure. In that soul searching, you came out to California, trained in Abu Dhabi now. In, the, in those, uh, those moments, in those decisions, where have you turned everything around? Because honestly, I, I watch you fight. And I still get nervous before you fight, but it's a calm that I feel like oh, he's gonna get it done. Like yeah. I don't, I don't feel as nervous. Like you're not gonna be able to get it done anymore. I think it was, you know, when I first walked into AKA and just saw the level of how he's trained and how serious everyone was taking it. It was kind of like shit. Maybe I haven't been doing this uh, this right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then when I went into <laughs> Gilroy. Oh, the rest of <laughs> And saw these fucking little kids, pretty much. Yeah. They were just making me look, do you know what I mean? It made me realize, like, this is why I'm losing. This is why I'm not, I'm not giving this my all. And as you know, to be good or, or great at anything, you need to, to give it your all. And since then, I've been giving it my all. Well, you can tell. When I'm at work, yeah. You can tell. You can tell. And 
in those sessions in the wrestling room, right? I didn't think you were going to come back. I was like, there's no way he comes back tomorrow. But every single day you showed back up. Because you had made a decision that what happened in the Spivak fight was never going to happen again. I'm coming for Nick, too, when I see you. <laughs> you know Nick's like 190 <laughs> pounds now. What's that? Like, kilos. He's maybe 85 kilos. Nick? Nick, yeah, Nick is 80. He's 85 kilos now. He's tiny. What? He is so small. He said he was tired of being fat. Like, I think he said he was tired of being fat and he lost a whole bunch of weight. He had to wait too Definitely coming for you now. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take him down, huh? Definitely coming for you now. But to keep showing up in those hard moments, man, and it was just, it was, it was very true of your mind at that point to be mm-hmm. better. And since then, we've seen you engage in the, in the wrestling more. We've seen you defend takedowns. Now look at what you're doing. I'm trying. I'm learning, and I'm trying. And I'll never not rock up. Yeah. I think that's one thing that's always in me. I'll never not rock up. Uh, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always, yeah. I'll always put in. Might not win all the time, but I'll always put in. Put in. Yeah. Derek Lewis, big, scary, dangerous, fast. He's at home in Houston. I know you took the fight when you were a little bit, you know, you're a little tipsy, you hit drunk. My decisions are always better when I'm drunk. <laughs> but when you woke up and you saw, okay, it's me and this dude, what was the initial thoughts? Fuck, I have to stop partying. Yeah. I was planning on going out the next day. <laughs> so I had a day planned. Uh, I had a day planned the next day, and then I, I, I realized that that probably wouldn't be the best idea. And then, no, no, I, I, like I said, I think it's, um, like, you know, the two years I've put in the hard work, I think I deserve it, and I think yeah. it's my time. I think that I'm ready for it, and I think I'm going to shock the world on Saturday. When you look at the fight technically, you seem to be the more technically sound guy, right? You kick more, mm. everything's tighter, more mm. in combination. You've always been a great striker. What problems can you see in Derek Lewis? Because the path seems to be pretty clear. Yeah. You try to frustrate him. Yeah. You frustrate him, you can get him done. Yeah. Junior did it, Dos Santos. Cyril Gan did it. I did it. You frustrate him, you can get it done. Yeah. What's the approach that you take against a Derek Lewis when you're not the big guy that stays on the outside kicking him in the belly, when you're not the wrestler that's going to go take him down over and over, you'll have to take more chances with the power. Mm. So what's the approach for Tai Tuivasa? I'm going to use my youth. Yeah. A bit younger than him, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel I'm going to be faster than him and a bit more fight savvy, you know? I'm a bit smarter than him in the fight. Well, I think so. So. That's the plan. Uh, we got a good plan, me and the team. And simply just go out there and do what I do. And once it comes, take it. You don't think, you don't overthink the fight? No, nah, never. You know, people look at you and they, 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 they see you smiling, joking, the shoey, hanging out with the Nelk boys. But they don't realize you're an absolute killer. Like, you're a killer. <laughs> like, they, that, that, you, you hide, they hide. The guy's a fucking killer. He, it hides behind the smile, right? Like, it, it, but you're telling me all these things very surface. But in mm. your mind, you think you're going to just destroy Derek Lewis. Well, I ain't coming here to fuck around. You know what I mean? It's either me or him. Yeah. And, you know, we've got a lot of respect for each other, but we, we all know this as a job. This is our job. And at the end of the day, he's going to try and take my head off. Mm-hmm. I gotta be out there trying to do the same. So with the family, with your son and everything, Ty, you've been in Abu Dhabi or Dubai for so long. I'm not exactly sure where you've been. All I know is you've been at five star hotels global, living like Rick Flair. Global. I mean you're global now. <laughs> but has your kid been able to go visit you there and now you get to go home for him to go back to school? So he was he came to Dubai for Christmas. Mm-hmm. So I was I was planning on I went home after Der- uh, after my last fight and then we spent Christmas. Then I was going to go back to Australia, and then I found out about the fight. So I stayed on and did this camp, and now I'm going to have this fight, and then I'm going to go home. Take some time? Because you've yeah, been very take active. take some time. Take some time. I've got a few little things I want to, you know, sort out. I've got a lot of business stuff I have to do back home, but definitely mainly just the dropping off to school and stuff, you know what I mean? It's I, the best. I want to do that shit. I, admit, I you know, I've never done it, so I want to. He just started school, so I want to get amongst it and do all that. 
your walkout songs are nuts. Every time Rogan's always like so excited to see what you're gonna pick, <laughs> and it's like, man, it's, it's gonna be something crazy. It usually draws a reaction, but you're going into the belly of the beast this weekend. They know that when you walk out there first, it's not Derek Lewis. Yeah. It's not going to be the cheers and people going crazy. At least you don't anticipate it's going to be that. How are you going to deal with the hostile crowd? It's expected. Just like if someone was to come to Australia, I don't think they'd get a warm welcome either, you know what I mean? But it's expected. And uh, once, the door ca- once the cage door closes, you know, no, one, no, no fan or no... No trainer's going to be there to help you. It's just you and him. Bam, so when you learn on the job, like you said, and you're like, man, you're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. Champion is not necessarily the thought always for a lot of guys. There was one kid that came in there, fighter meetings, and he told me where he stood, how he was a journeyman and all this stuff. You won four in a row now. Has that mindset changed to where I want, I'm the champ? I can be the champ in this division. No, I haven't thought of it that much. Really? I don't, I don't really. How could you not? I don't know. I don't think. It's like much. day one. I want to be the champion. I want to be the champion. Even if you can't kick, it was always I want to be the champion. I want to be the champion. I know with me. I like. I do like doing what I enjoy, like punching people and making money. So now I get to do it for a living. So it's it's. But uh, yeah, since having all these uh, interviews and stuff, and everyone's brought it up. It's kind of. It's because it's now it starts real. to become like. Yeah, but. I've got a big task ahead of me, and then after that, I'll think about it. Oh, man. What's up with you and these Nelk boys? Like, how did you guys become so cool, like, and friends? The UFC introduced us. They knew. They're like, <laughs> hey, you want to, hey, you want to. Yeah. Well, me and Steve, we get along real good, so he's, he's a good fella. And, you know me, I like to party. <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Bam, thank you, man. Thank, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Can't wait for Saturday, bro. I know that you and Derek are going to blow the roof off that. I've got a present for you, too, on Thursday when it comes. A present? Yeah. I've what? got the Shurivasa. Oh, you got that little deal? I saw yeah, it. Like, who yeah, made that yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, you, you thought You thought that up? Hell yeah. Come on, man. But you know, I'm not just good looking, you know what I mean? I mean, you are. I mean, you got a nice little haircut. And everything <laughs> I do, I'm like, what happened? I was like, it's not the same bam. <laughs> this dude right here all thin. and he got the Dubai the- bam. I mean, the Dubai Bam got all the... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's out of his damn mind. Man. Uh, Guys, like, subscribe. Make sure you watch UFC 271. Bam Bam's in the co-main event. My man's leveling up on him. And he's fighting number three dude in the world. So let's see what happens. Like, subscribe, watch UFC 271.